gonna show you how to make a homemade chili powder. And, and this is good no matter if you're making chilies, you want a spice rub for ribs or the pork tenderloin that we're gonna make the tacos with. Um, literally, you will never ever wanna buy another chili powder from the store because this is so much better. Right. Basically what you're doing is you're taking dried chilies. You, you can use a whole, a whole lot of different types. You can choose hotter ones or milder ones depending on your taste. Um, we're gonna add some oregano, some, some powdered garlic, or I'm using granulated garlic, some whole cumin seed, and uh, some, some paprika. You can also use a, a smoked paprika, or you can put a chipotle in there if you want a little more smokiness. Uh, chipotle is just a, just a smoked chili, usually a jalapeno. All right, um, three of each type of chili. Um, these are the, the Arbol chilies. We have the, uh, the Casa Bell chilies, and we have the Ancho chilies. If, uh, if you have a dehydrator, or you can do these in the sun, you can actually do these from your own garden too. Um, first thing you want to do, you want to take the stems off, and then take the seeds out. And it's pretty easy in the dried ones, they, they usually just kind of come right out. If you're sensitive to chilies, um, they can actually irritate your skin. You, you might want to wear gloves for this. Don't rub your eyes while you're working with chilies. The ancho chilies are a lot milder, it's almost almost like a kind of a smoky flavor. What we're going to do with these is we're just going to chop them up. We're going to put them in a skillet. I'm going to use a cast iron skillet, and we're going to toast all these chopped chilies along with the cumin seed for about five minutes. And that's part of what makes this, you know, each time you add a step to cooking, you're adding a depth of flavor. Today, we're, we're gonna see a whole bunch of steps with these pork tacos that are gonna just continually add, add more and more flavor. You just continually layer the flavor. And that's sort of how you, you know, can, can, can turn something that might've been uh, a mediocre dish to just an amazing dish by just adding a couple extra steps to layer a little bit more flavor. Okay. And you just want to take these. I'm going to get my my burner started about medium heat. And you just want to chop these chilies right up. And this is something, you know, you don't have to make this every time before you want to make a dish to use it. You can make a, you can make a batch and it'll, it'll stay in an airtight container um, for a couple months at least. The fresher your spices are, you know, it's always, will have a lot better flavor just like anything else that you cook with. And the great thing about doing this, since there's so many ingredients in it, when you end up using it in a recipe, like we're doing today, it's every flavor that you already need. Instead of adding a whole bunch of different spices, they're all going to be right in this chili powder. All right, that's nice and hot. We're going to take these chilies. We're just going to drop them right in the pan. Like I said, if you're if you're sensitive to to chilies, you won't want to do what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put them in the, that pan, it's preheated uh, medium. We're going to put those cumin seeds right in there. You've, you probably use cumin or at least have it in your spice cabinet and it, that's what it comes from. It comes from these cumin seeds here. You want to move it around a little bit. You'll start to, to smell the, you know, that cumin seed start to toast. If you're already hungry while you're doing this, you're going to be even more hungry by the time this is this is done. You just want to move it around enough that that it doesn't burn. All right, so I have those chilies and cumin seed that we toasted. They're completely cool now. I'm just gonna put those right in a blender here. You can do this in a blender, food processor, or whatever you have. Tablespoon of oregano. Two tablespoons of uh, garlic powder or I'm using a granulated garlic. 
teaspoon of paprika or you can use a smoked paprika also. You can add a little salt and pepper if you want, but I like to add that separately, so. And then you just blend them all together. The thing you want to be careful of is after you blend it, don't open the lid for uh, a couple minutes just to let all, all of the powder settle. Cause I got me a picture of Bob Dylan Taking in his youth Pulling out when I need breath I look into his eyes, feel like I'm looking in a mirror Looks as if I need to take a breath People go way too slow when I wanna speed on by Way too fast when I wanna go slow Seems like with her just over before it starts, she'll move on to the next broken heart. And once you get the consistency that you like, um, you know, I always have some extra. I, I keep it in an airtight container and it'll keep for a couple months. And so you don't have to do this every time you need it, just do enough that uh, so you can keep some. You can do a triple batch, and you can do as much as you want. And uh, using your chilies on this pork tenderloin that we're doing. Uh, as any sort of rub for any barbecue, it's just, just killer. You'll love it. Well, I hope you check it out. This is the best chili powder you'll ever have. Guarantee it. I'll admit that I am moody, but not that it's my fault. I'm just an artist, I say.